I want to share. And this goes back to when I was in high school. One of the jobs that I had in high school, I worked at a movie theater. And the cool thing about, you know, working at the movie theater, really, it's only real busy for us at the movie theater like when it's like a brand new release. So, you know, like now everyone is going crazy over Black Panther. I have not seen it. But um, uh, when a big movie like that comes out and everyone is going to see it, that's when we're like crazy busy at the movie theater. I mean, it's like crazy every day of the week and especially on the weekends. And when all the movies are in, that's like great because we have like downtime of a couple of hours at least before we get busy again. So this was one of those moments where it was downtime. It's kind of like a bit of a science, the way a lot of these theaters schedule the uh, times for the different movies. So there's like a rush and then there's a calm before the storm all over again. So that's kind of how it was. So we were in a nice calm period where we were just hanging out by the uh, concession stand and we were all just talking. And again, I was in high school then. So I probably, if I'm working, I'm, I'm going to assume maybe I was 15 or 16 at the time. And there was a guy there that worked and he was a little bit older, um, but still probably late teens, early 20s. He wasn't that old. And um, he was talking to another guy there and we were all huddled at the concession stand. And the guy who was a little bit older than us, you know, and, and I know different people have their own perception of, you know, religion and how they, you know, look at. Christianity, Islam, Buddhism, whatever the case may be. But this particular conversation was a Christian-focused conversation. And the gentleman that was older, he was speaking to one of my peers who was probably a little closer in age to me. And basically, he was trying to talk to this guy about Jesus Christ and trying to give him some, you know, Christian wisdom to help this guy with whatever it was that he was dealing with. And I really don't remember how we even got into this type of conversation. But the thing that was really interesting about what happened, we were inside of the theater having this discussion huddled at the concession stand area. And so in walks this guy from the outside He walks in and he says to the guy who, you know, the older guy was speaking to the younger guy, right? So the guy who walked in directed his comment toward the younger guy. So he didn't look at me. He didn't look at the older guy. And I believe it was another girl who was there too. But this guy who walks in from the outside, he looks right at the young man and says, You need to listen to him because God is coming back. And first of all, you know, we're younger. (laughs) So, so, you know, we really were like kind of stunned because I think, and plus, you know, we're working in a movie theater. So the guy, the older guy was like the ticket guy. So I think he was so distracted by what the guy said. I don't even think. I don't even remember if he even stopped him and asked for his ticket or I don't even remember what happened. I just know that we were silent after this guy said what he said, because how could he have known what we were just talking about? We were on the inside. The guy had come in from the outside and Again, the person who was the point of focus, how could he have even known that? You know, again, coincidence, strange thing. I mean, God inspired. One of those things that make you go, hmm, you know. But regardless of how you assess those situations, I believe we all have had those kind of moments. I believe we all have had things that have happened that make us stop and really reflect on what's really at work here. 
I think we've all had those kind of experiences that sometimes need to happen to get us to really slow down and pay attention to how we are assessing the world around us and whether or not we are acknowledging sometimes that there really is something greater that is at work within and around us. And it takes those moments. It takes those moments where we feel it's unexplainable. And I really want to close out on a quote that comes from Albert Einstein. And Albert Einstein said that coincidence is God's way of remaining anonymous. Coincidence is God's way of remaining anonymous. Of course, as we all know and understand, different people will have different beliefs and different perspectives on God. But for myself personally, when reflecting on Einstein's quote, it enabled me to really examine some of those strange things that I've encountered in my life. So as I was driving down the road many years ago to teach on campus, and I saw the city and state on that truck, that was God's way in that moment. I didn't realize it until the day unfolded even more. See, I didn't, I didn't get the full story. That was a teaser on the side of that truck. That was God's way of remaining anonymous in my life. It's also a reminder for us to really pay attention. There was a time, you know, if you're into a biblical history where people were attentive to the signs and the miracles that were around them. And sometimes we are very distracted, understandably so. I work and I get it. There's a schedule and deadlines and and we're busy, 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 busy. But sometimes in the midst of the grind and the get up and go, every once in a while, there will be a whisper of something where God is trying to show us that this is not a coincidence. You may perceive it as such, but it's really my own profound and insightful way of letting you know that I am with you. And I, in my own subtle way, prepare you for the dangers, possible dangers that could be ahead. I just need you to pay attention to it. Maybe it's just some strange things. Maybe it's God's way of being anonymous in your life, but still guiding your life and preparing you for what is ahead. Preparing you. Just like I vividly could see that my co-worker's father had passed. My mom says something about death. And death is one of those topics. I I cover death with my college students. We actually have one week where we focus on life. And then there's another week where the uh, focus is death. And And it can be difficult to deal with topics related to death, though still very important to address. And something my mom says often about death when it comes to our own death personally It is her belief that we don't leave here a stranger, meaning a lot of us know when our end in terms of living here on this realm, when it is coming close to 
its final days. And when I think about some of the encounters that I've had, just like vividly knowing my classmate was going to show up, I hadn't seen that person in years. There was no reason for me to expect to actually speak see this person in the shoe store of all places. Now, I have to be honest. I didn't, when I thought of this person, I didn't picture this person showing up to the, to the shoe store. But when they walked into the shoe store, I wasn't shocked. I wasn't surprised because it was like, it was a part of my soul that was expecting to see this person. I don't know what that was supposed to mean for me on a much deeper level, But again, going back to Albert Einstein, coincidence is God's way of remaining anonymous. A lot of us, when things are dark in our lives, when things do not make sense in our lives, we ask for signs. Even people who don't pray, they begin to pray. Even people who don't read, they start reading. Even people who don't look for hope for sale, they are in the self-help you know, section of the bookstore because they are desperate for some kind of answer. And what happens is we don't receive the response on those requests and the way we think we should receive them. So we go on and live life and and we don't really pay attention to the truck that drives by that has that city and state on the side that is preparing me for what could be a dangerous situation ahead. We don't pay attention to the dream because we say, oh, but you know, people dream all the time. And we don't realize that even through our dreams, things can be revealed. And so with this episode, I say to you, when it comes to those things, those things that are strange things, things that people say, well, maybe it's the law of attraction. Maybe that's God talking to you. Maybe it's just a coincidence and you really shouldn't overthink it. When it comes to those things, I say, pay attention. And ask yourself, what is the lesson that I am to learn through this experience and through this revelation? Because it could be an answer to prayer. It could be an answer that you have searched and worked hard towards. And finally, through those strange things, Maybe that which you have been seeking is now seeking you. Guys, thank you so much for listening to this episode. I hope you're enjoying the podcast. As always, you can subscribe to the podcast by searching Squat Wisely on iTunes and Stitcher. And you can check out the show on iHeartRadio. Just search Squat Wisely. Thank you for listening. You know I'll be back next time, guys to do it all over again. Goosebumps. Powerful. Moved to tears. That's what people say and feel after hearing Kristen speak. Event planners confirm that she exceeds expectations and leaves guests wanting and wishing for more. If you want a speaker that is both gifted and passionate, then visit kristenspeaks.com to book Kristen today. Thank me later. Kristen speaks and she always knows what to say Give you motivation that will help you each day Handing you the tools to make a change in a major way Now open up your ears so you can hear what she gotta say Kristen speaks and she always knows what to say Give you motivation that will help you each day If you feeling lost, she can help you get found And give you the courage that you need if you feeling down Using words to motivate you into action Lift you right off your feet and right towards your passion Help you reach your goals and gain a better life Give you inspiration 
To help you see the light, she will put you on the path straight to your dreams and show you that it's really not as hard as it seems. She goes.